when the violin solo is so damn lit, you just become a bagel. <laughs> I've done it. I've become the bagel. <laughs> what do whales look like? Uh, uh, large green dogs. Just, uh, oh, I like what you've got though. Yes, you've, you've definitely captured the, uh, the essence of a large green dog. What part of the night do fish go on? The head. Oh, thanks. Oh, absolutely. No problem at all. Both lying flatways across the head, or, uh... No, one on each side, like ears. Okay, great. <laughs> what kind of bird tucks people into bed at night? Uh, usually, I mean. Any bird. Any kind of walking bird. And when it tucks you in, people usually look... Incredibly worried. It's incredibly worrying when the bed bird tucks you in. <laughs> oh, sorry to bother you again. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. This is what I'm here for. What is it? What part of a goat is a snail again? Like the front end or the back end? What part do you feel like should be the snail part? The back part? You shouldn't doubt yourself. You know more about goats than you give yourself credit for. Ah, <laughs> uh, so, so when a dog and a bird make out... Right. That's usually the bird that's on top, right? Yeah, uh, usually. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much. <laughs> Brother, I heard that you travelled to Rome. Yes, it was a very enlightening experience. Please... Tell me about your experiences. I made a series of paintings to demonstrate the gladiators fought mighty beasts, which exhumed foul substances from their backsides. Their shields served as a barrier to such offenses and gave them the upper hand. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the Olympics. Were there powerful men riding stallions with aims to joust their opponents? Oh, good heavens, no. Royal bunnies rode snails, meh. Royal bunnies rode snail men into battle. <laughs> where does the violin go? Hmm? When two knights battle one another, where do you put the violin? Over whoever's getting stabbed the most. Not really. Not the other one. Uh, no. Th that one gets the cat. <laughs> Remember, the Tower of Babel is a sign of man's deadly hubris and overweening pride. They tried to reach heaven itself, so don't hold back. Make it at least one and a half stories high. Ah, uh, gotcha. <laughs> I'm having the toughest time finishing this illustration of Jacob wrestling with the angel for some reason. I never wrestled as a kid. What does it look like? Confused hugging. Uh, really? Yeah, you're hugging, but you sort of look concerned about it. Most concerned face wins, usually. <laughs> Can a man fit through a tower? Uh, like a gate? Uh, from a castle? Uh, no, that's why whenever you build a castle, you stand in the middle and build around you, and then you can't ever leave. Castles are actually super impractical. <laughs> so wall must be pretty tough then, huh? Well, not really, if you know your strategy. Just lean over the wall and pick up every <laughs> Just lean over the wall and pick everyone's head up. That's basically it. <laughs> this is honestly a bit embarrassing. Uh, uh, wh why? What is it? Hey, uh, it's really a basic question about anatomy. Well, but, you know, as a monk, I haven't seen a lot of naked people, so I'm not really sure. Uh, do, uh, do, uh, do not be embarrassed, even a little. Ask away. Okay, well, I guess it's two questions. One is, does everybody have faces on their heads? Uh, uh, the great question. Uh, and no. A great rule of thumb is that the lower the face, the less face you have. So, if you have a face in your chest, it's probably just one eye, maybe a nose, no lips. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, what's the other question? 
Well, this is so embarrassing. Uh, th there are no bad questions. No, no, you're right. You're definitely right. But what do... Um, what do Pinaises look like, mostly? I, I mean, I, I know what mine looks like, but uh, I don't know if I'm regular. A, a totally normal question. They look like horses' tails. Uh, oh, okay. Horses' tails. Uh, just big front horse tails that touch the ground. Oh, uh, which reminds me. Do horses have, do horses have tails? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> How tall are most women? Uh, tower size, but normal heads. Ah, oh, cool. Oh, thank you. Uh, here to help. Oh, uh, while I've got you, though, uh, most dogs look... Emotionally destroyed. Ah, oh, got it. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> So, these tower-sized women, are they always in towers, or just the size of towers? Yes. Uh, yes to which part? Uh, both. Being a tower is a very important aspect of womanhood. <laughs> How best to depict the suffering of the crucifixion? Uh, Jesus with one shoe off, and one shoe on. <laughs> Uh. Uh, what's up? Uh, how many eyes does a dog have? Uh, oh, man. Uh, wow. Right? Uh, that That is a good question. Because, like, I can tell that for sure seven is not right. But beyond that, I have no idea. Okay, well, it's time for lunch, so I feel like executive decision. Uh, seven is fine. You sure? Uh, yes, I'm sure. We're having bread today, and I don't want to miss it. <laughs> Do birds have meetings? Absolutely. They have a meeting hat and everything. Oh, uh, what do they have meetings about? Uh, mostly who gets to wear the meeting hat. <laughs> Do human women sleep in beds, or...? Uh, no, that's dogs you're thinking of. Oh, uh, right, right. Uh, hey, is it owls or people that live in caves and build fires? Uh, owls. Owls, for sure. <laughs> hey, roughly, what size are sparrows? Hmm, it kind of depends. Uh, like, as big as a tree? Or not quite as big as a tree? Uh, uh, pretty much the same size as a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Can cows sail boats? <laughs> no, uh, common misconception. They have to put wheels on the boats and roll it over land. <laughs> what, what do birds eat? Uh, mostly other birds. Uh, like uh, different kinds of birds or, or something else? Uh, no, no birds only eat exactly the same kind of birds that they are. <laughs> what usually rides horses? Like people or... Uh, uh, fire. <laughs> How high do they usually have the books? Oh, uh, right up top, it must be at least one head's length taller than any person. That way, you know, it is quite of the utmost quality of books. Y yes, uh, of the utmost, qu quite utmost quality of books, yes, rather. Hey, uh, let me tell you a secret. Did you know that the seat of knowledge exists in your skull? Uh, that's ridiculous. Uh, no, really? Also, if you remove the top of your head, you grow an awesome sombrero. Holy sh! I love sombreros. Let's do it. When you're removing evil spirits from the head, do you give them holy water or what? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure you drive a massive nail through their head. Uh, won't that kill them? They can't be possessed by demons if they're dead. Uh, oh, okay. Thanks. Punk. So, when you're drawing monks, which part of the head do you put the poop on? Uh, right on the bold spot, that would be best. Just put right on top, and whichever monk can balance it longest wins. Uh, what do they win? Uh, ultimate monk head game poop. Oh, that sounds right. Ultimate monk game head poop. Thank you.
Uh, now, uh, I've got a question for you. It might be a tricky one. Oh, yeah, yes, uh, just go right ahead. Uh, so, when you're drawing a demon... Uh, yes? But, but, let's say you've countered the demon, how would you depict that in a drawing? Oh, well, yes, let's say your demon has quite a long neck. Uh, yes, that's what I've got here. Uh, all right, so what you want to do is run around it thrice, duck under, jump over it, weave, dodge, dip, duck, dive and dodge. Uh, yes, and then? And then you'll actually notice its neck is sprung and not. Oh, that qu that makes sense, yes, thank you. Well, uh, I'll, I'll let that in. <laughs> All right, my brothers and weirdos, thank you so much for jumping into another video. Yes, monks make stuff up. That's fine. That's totally neat. That's normal. <laughs> it's a lot of fun to laugh at these. I was thinking about doing medieval cat painting, so I might do that in the future. I might also do medieval baby paintings kind of thrown in one of these they make me laugh a lot now i appreciate all of your patience with you on me on the patreon outro uh, i am traveling right now so it's a little bit trickier to, to record all that uh, i do have a, lo a long list of names to go through and i want to make sure it's kind of special so that will be upcoming appreciate all of your patience <laughs> and with that in mind we'll see you in the next one where we take it one topic at a time roll that outro Hey, my beardos and weirdos, uh, typically right now I'd be reading out all the Patreon, pa patron, patron names, the names of everyone that is, that are support, that, uh, whoops, um, <laughs> everyone that is supporting the channel, but, uh,